Welcome to my channel. I'm D and I am back with another video. So first just let me say welcome to all of my subscribers. And if you have not hit that subscription button yet, what are you waiting for? It is free of no cost to you. And I'm only 13 subscribers away from 1,000. So yeah, if you have been hanging in there with me for the long haul, welcome back. So guys, yes, I'm only 13 subscribers away from 1,000. So I am super excited. Um, I don't know what it is about these milestones with YouTube. I have another channel that I've been having for years. And um, I'm over 1,000. But I don't remember the it being so exciting, you know. So, I guess in that community, they don't really, I don't know if they pay attention to it or what. I don't know, but I'm excited for it over here, honey. Over here in this handbag community of these beautiful people. So, anywho, today we are here to talk about what's in my East West sec pepper green in the color wine. Yes, I'm still popping tags, y'all. So I popped the tag off this beauty and decided to carry her this week. This is what's in my bag Friday. But before we get into her, I know you guys see it's peeping over. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about this viral cup first. It's the Stanley Cup. So, I'm not into hype things that, you know, the, the end thing. I've, I've never been that type of person. It's, you know, I'm just not like that. Um, now, a handbag wants to go on sale, you know, hey. But just things in general. They have people who just like whatever is in the hottest thing, they want it. You know, they want to try it. I'm not like that, but I live with somebody that's like that. Hubby is like that, okay, y'all? So, it's this is a little bit of a story behind this. So, my auntie, I don't know if you guys remember, I had did a, um, a gift that I gotten from Bath & Body Works so a while ago. Um, the same nanny, my auntie, we call her nanny, she worked for Target and Dick's, okay? And she has been having a cup like this for as long as I can remember, y'all. Like, forever, like years. Everywhere she go, Nanny had a cup with her, okay? And so, the first thing I thought about when I saw the hype over this cup, and just let me give you a backstory in case you don't know. The hype came from this lady showing... A TikTok video or something of her car being burned up in the inside, burned up, and the cup was okay. Nothing was wrong with the cup. So the cup went viral because of that. Um, it is an old brand. Look it up. It's not anything new. Google it. So anyway, but my nanny has several of these. And my nanny, everywhere she go, y'all, my nanny have this cup. This cup is in her car. In her house, I mean, she keeps this cup, okay? Um, and I will never forget when I first, like around the first time I saw her with this, because we live away from each other. And I was like to myself, man, that cup big, you know, that's a big cup. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't tell her that, but I was like, that cup kind of big. Um, but honey, she will have this cup. And so when it went viral like that, I say, oh, nanny, your cup that made it. Your cup made it big. She said, yeah, I told her, I said, baby, I've been on this. Y'all late catch up, catch up. So anyway, my husband, he was actually going to get him one, but he was like, no, he's just going to stay a Yeti boy. He loves his Yeti. He has the ice chest and I think two or three cups. And I had the, uh, the Arctic um, yeah, <clears throat> and so he had the, he has, he's a Yeti person. He said he just stayed with the Yeti, but he went out and got this for me. I guess so just somebody he knows can have it because he just have to have whatever is new. But I like the cup. Um, no different from, from any other cup, I, you know, 
we said, go. I like the cup, and it's going to help me drink more water because I do need stuff like this to help me drink water, if that make any sense, y'all. So anyway, I'm not going to take any more time, uh, but we did get it. I hear that it was hard to get or something, or they was cutting up over them at Target or somewhere, but my husband did get this from Dick's. Yeah, he got it from Dick's. I think it was like 40 or $50, and he had like a cash back or something. I don't know. But it's a good cup. And I don't know what color this is, y'all. I have no idea. But, yeah. he um He's a part of that hype uh, crowd. <laughs> so his wife got a treat out of it, okay? <laughs> so, let's get into this beautiful bag. So, pop and take still. <clears throat> Um, I decided to adorn it with this beautiful charm. It's the lock and key Dooney charm. I didn't do a palm or anything. I just wanted to leave it pretty simple. Um, this bag is a shoulder bag. So if it's a little heavy, it's, it's not heavy, if that makes sense. I just throw it on my shoulder and the weight, is, it's evenly distributed, I guess. But I love the smile. It does have four feet on the bottom. It is, let me see if I can remember this because I just measured it. Um, 10 inches in height, 6 inches in depth, and 14 across. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty roomy bag, y'all. So I am going to unzip. It has the pretty gold duck Dooney Burke plate on the front. And so, this is how it's looking in the inside. And it may look like it's a lot, but it's really not a lot in there. I could throw stuff on the top. And I have been doing that, <clears throat> throwing things in here and just kind of leaving this bag open. Uh, if I need to, things like my cup, <laughs> going it right here on the top. All right, and I did order me, I ordered me a little cover too for this. So, um, let's get into this bag. So it has the standard duty setup. It has the zip and slip in the back. Okay, and I hate that. I need to start using my ring light, y'all. I really do. So in the back it has that big wide zipper and the slip. So we're going to start with what's in the slip underneath the zipper. So I, in the slip I have my coin case. You guys have, are familiar with these coin cases. I love them. It is in the color wine. Um, it has a zipper in the front, which I don't have anything in there. I used it for my keys as a key ring. So I have my keys on the key ring on the outside. And all I put in here, y'all, was my car key. Okay, because I don't have to take this out uh, much at all. I put my car key in the zip part. Leave the keys, other keys hanging out. I don't have anything in the bag. But if I did want to do a quick run, I could throw my driver's license in my card or debit card or cash in here. Okay. The other thing that I have in my big slip pocket is some Kleenex. In the back zipper, I have, let's see, I have my Tic Tacs in there. I have my husband's key as always. Is that all I have? I thought I had something else. I do. I have my mirror. My um, coach heart mirror is in there. Along with the registration card and the tags. Okay. I keep that in that back pocket of all of my bags. So that's what I have in there. Okay. For the zip and slip. 
on the other side, which is where you have that big open pocket and the little one. So in the big open pocket, I have my card case where I keep my driver's license, my most frequently used cards, social security card, medical card, all of that's in here. In the pocket on the back, I have some gift cards. I have like the cards that I um, use for my drinks um, to get my points. All that's in that slip right back here. Okay. In the zipper on this card case, I just have some cash and some coins. I got some coins too. That's what I have in there. So it's in the wine, pebble wine color as well. On the other side, in the little, the little small pocket, I have my warm vanilla sugar hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works, along with my shea butter. Have that as well in that little pocket. Okay, and it fits perfect. I think that's it for that small pocket. Now, in the very center of the bag, starting from the front, well, I'll turn it back around. So, starting at the side right here, we're going to do this side. I have my pencil case, my coach pencil case in black. And I just have my ink pens that I keep in here all the time. My same pens you guys have seen 50,000 times. So I got that. And directly in the center, I have my DB75 Kiss Lock. Anytime I carry a Kiss Lock, I always make it out of like my little cosmetic bag. So I'll have, I'm, I don't wear makeup at all, much makeup at all. I have my Nivea uh, lip balm, which I love this, y'all. This vanilla buttercream by Nivea. I have some of this on my desk at work, too. Um, I have, let's keep it with the lips. I have my The Gloss, and it's in that Choco, Choco Crush by Revlon. Got that in case I'm feeling glossy. Have my um, little eyeliner. My some more lippies. I have my Dior Lip Maximizer. My cuticle oil. My twisty ties. For my hair, my nail clip, and last but not least, my perfume samples. I still have a little bit of my Cleaning My Happy, which I'm definitely going to look for some more of that because I love it. My um, Louis Vuitton sample perfume as well. So that's all in my Kiss Lock. Anytime I have a Kiss Lock, it will be used most likely as my my little cosmetic case. Okay. So we're going to put this here. And we're going to fix this. And I can even like if I want to have some because I don't I don't have to use my keys anymore for work. Um, the only time I pull this, have to pull this out is to get in my house. And that's about to change because we're going to add that uh, code thing, code lock on to the house. So all my keys could just go in there and stay in there like that. Okay. Next thing is my eyeglasses. That's over in the corner too here. And then we're going to start on the other side in the corner. I have my coach peel case. Okay, then I have my 
clear DB75. Um, well, not the DB75. Just my DB because there's no 1975 on here. Um, but it's my clear pouch, and this is just a kind of like a catch-all. Um, I have my feminine uh, liners in here. Some of these feminine wipes. My mask. Some Clorox wipes. Because y'all, COVID is real. Flu. Flu. Bron bronchitis. Everything out there right now is, is hot. Okay? It's, the streets is hot. Some Lysol spray. My Neutrogena wipes. My soap sheets. My contact lens. I need to put my re-wet and drops back in here too. My contact lens. My meal sporum and my um, floss. So yeah. Um, yeah, I, I want to be kind of cautious. Everything out there. People just getting sick. I kind of, today, I work from home. I don't know if I told you. That, but I work from home today. Because we had some system issues. Oh, my little, uh, I don't know what this tag is for. Oh, for this. I'm going to just leave this stuff on here because I don't want to. See that? Large East West sink in wine. It got stuck on my pouch, and I'm going to leave it right on there. Um, so, yeah, I got to work from home today, and I'll show you guys what I'm transitioning into just for tomorrow um, to bring my computer back to work. <clears throat> and I knew I had something back in this back slip pocket, and it was my clipper. So I'll um, I'm gonna go ahead so I'll use that and put that in here. But yeah, so I'll because when I got to work this morning and I usually keep a um a bag at work, like kind of like a shopper's bag at work in case we have to bring our computers home. But I had let another one of my co-workers use it. And she had to use it today, and I didn't want to take it from her. Um, so, <laughs> that would have been rude. So, I just kind of grabbed all my stuff and kind of carried it in my hand. Um, but when I bring it back, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you see what I switched into. So, and it worked out because I had the accessories already to match it. This is my Continental Wallet, my DB75 Continental Wallet. And uh, it just has all of my cards in it. And I have some of them doubled. Has my cards. Has some coupons. Uh, some little notes. For some things I need to do. Receipts. So it's like opening here. Your regular standard wallet here. It's red in the, at the top. I love that. in black here. And it's a slick here. If you have a checkbook, I guess you can put slots everywhere. All back here, too. Um, on the back, it has a zipper for coins, but I don't have any coins in there. And it has a braided zipper pull. The front has a gold Dunenberg plaque to the front. So, I decided to use my DB... 75 um, accessories along with some wine, pepper grain. I thought that would go in some black. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do my black one. That's what I should have did, huh? <laughs> I don't know why I chose the clear and didn't do the black with this. I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just obsessed with being able to see my stuff, and that's why I didn't put it on, but I'm going to hold up, I'm going to switch it for y'all so you can see how it looks. Now, that look better, don't y'all? 
I don't know what I was thinking about. <laughs> oh, I've been wearing the clear one all week, but we'll finish the week out with the black one. So this is uh, the black um, cosmetic pouch. I think that's what they call this. And I don't keep the tags for this. Or do they call this like a on-the-go? On-the-go pouch is what I think they call this. I have the black one and the clear one. I caught these super cheap, y'all. I might have caught these like $15. I think they had them one time. They were 20 some dollars. They would take an extra something. It was super, super duper cheap. So that is um, what is in my East West sack and pepper green wine from Zuni and Burt. Now, I am going to show you guys what... I am transitioning into for tomorrow just in case I have to um I don't know if the service is gonna be up or not tomorrow but if it is not up but if it is up I'm gonna be carrying this into the office it's my DB75 Dover and um it has my laptop in it um with some paperwork and things I had to bring in uh, today. I don't have to bring in like a um, charger for my laptop because I have one that stays here at the house. So I don't need any of that. Um, I have that already uh, here. So yeah, but that's what I will be transitioning into and I want to check to see if I still had oh yes it now my little connection for my USB converter I just threw it in here and I want to make sure it's still in here so this is what I'll be getting into I'm so excited I love to carry my Dover and y'all know that I'm at a place where I'm just popping tags every week so I don't get a chance rarely to go back and use one of my bags that I've used already except for situations like this and so I was so ready <laughs> to use my Dover, even if it's just for tomorrow. Um, and I already have all my accessories. Already have um, everything to go right into it. Already ready, baby. Already ready. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that is going to be it, y'all, um, for this video. I did pick up a few things from, not pick up, I did order, I did have a Timu um, order, but I will probably come later on the weekend with that because I have something else that I want to share, so I'll share that together, if that makes sense. I do want to quickly show you guys this from Timu that I got like maybe, oh Lord, I don't know how long ago. It's been a while, but it just took me forever to just sit down and put it together. But that's when I realized I needed another one um, because I got too many to work. And I'll show you guys in a second what I got. So yeah, y'all, I got this. It's for jewelry and so I got it to put my charms on. It came from Timu. But it is, I got too many charms. And this is not all my charms. Because I don't even have my uh, Charm by Carmen charms on here. I don't have any of my puffs on here. This is not even the half. And it's full. And so I just wanted to um, show you guys how it looked on here. This comes from Timu. Like I said, it's to hold the jewelry. And I finally decided to put it together and put some of my charms on here. So this is where we're at right now. Um, some of these charms I haven't even worn. Um, but yeah, so I got a lot of my coach and my Dooney charms. They're all mixed up in there together. I just want to show you guys that if you ever see those jewelry things, you can, you can use it for your charms. I thought it was a really nice idea. <clears throat> and I do actually have another one that came in this Timu haul that I have. It's a bigger one. So I don't know when I'm ever going to put that together. Because it took me forever to just sit down and have some time and, and put this together. Which it wasn't 
much to it at all. So that's it, guys. Thank y'all so much for um coming in and watching. If you guys have any questions about my East West Pebble Grain sack, please put them down below. Or if you have any questions about the Dover, put them down below. I'll be glad to answer those questions for you. And let's chop it up about all these sales that's going on. That's well. I don't know. They, well, they got some good sales, but your girl ain't been ain't been grabbing nothing, okay? I've just been kind of staying chill. You know, I got too many tags to to, to pop, okay? <laughs> so I don't need to be out here buying nothing. If my eye catch up that I will not, I will say this. Michael Kors looks like it has been off the charts in the community, honey. Y'all, my sisters is popping these tags with Michael Kors and Oh, child. And I've been lying. I've been around here lying, telling people I ain't got no Michael Kors. I do have one Michael Kors. I have a Michael Kors belt bag that my auntie purchased for me, not this past Christmas, but the year before, 2022. I have a Michael Kors belt bag that I have not worn. I'm around here lying, telling the people I don't have no Michael Kors in my collection. And I do. I do. And I have been looking at one Michael Kors for a very long time. It is no longer in circulation at the stores. I have to get it um, on the aftermarket. It is available there, but it's high as the sky. Uh, but I am looking at a few of the bags. Thanks to my sisters, determined to be. Uh, uh, y'all is messing with me bad. Okay. Y'all, y'all messing with bad Shonda. Y'all, y'all, Mo. Yes. I wouldn't even check it for no Michael Kors. I wouldn't even check it for no. All I had was that one little Michael Kors in my head that I've been waiting for to see at a good price on the aftermarket. I was going to snatch it up. Now y'all got me around here looking at the Millie, the Milo, and the. Di oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all know y'all wrong. <laughs> Okay, so this video is 27 minutes long. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscription button if you'd like to hear about handbags, handbag charms, anything handbag related. Go ahead and hit the button. You won't regret it. If you've been hanging out with me for the long haul, I appreciate you guys. We are almost there. 13 more subscribers, and I'll be at 1,000. I appreciate y'all. It's all because of you guys. It's all because of y'all. Suds what? Determined to be Michelle. Shonda. Dazzle me. 77. Uh, Mo knows beauty. Uh, 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 just everybody who has shared. Who has taken the time to share. And do the bliss and niece. All of these people who take the time to share my videos. That is a big, big part of me being... Um, Almost to 1,000, you know, uh, Robin Cookie. I mean, y'all don't hesitate, baby. Y'all share. Y'all share these videos. And I appreciate y'all so, so much. And if I didn't call your name, charge it to my head, not to my heart, I will put a list out there. When I hit my 1,000, I got a list, okay? I got a list. Love y'all to pieces. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye-bye.